Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. And no, we do not want to save the game yet. God damn it, Leon. When we last left off, we had our first uh, brush with T00. I believe his name is. I think Mr. X, T00. So, anyway, we did manage to put out the fire. Um, and we got the club key, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, I remember. Now, the club key door. I guess we're going to head down there fairly soon. Um, because, in fact, that's our next destination, really, going down that set of rooms. Or no. Okay, we actually have some options with how we want to deal with the next little bit of the game. But first... Ooh, he's angry. Oh, God. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better. <laughs> There's no point in fighting these liquors, and we kind of don't really have the firepower just with the standard gun. So we're just going to duck and weave past those guys. There are some shotgun shells in here, which we're we'll certainly going to be tucking safely into our back pocket. And there's one other item in here that we really need. We need that. The door unlock card. Yes, please. All right, Leon, let's go. Hey, friend, though. Well, if it ain't Santa Claus, you can kiss my ass, friend. We're not interested in fighting you. Now, now we have the door unlock code. That's going to make things a little bit easier. Uh, hey, how are you doing? I think he's doing fine. Oh, he's angry. That's fine. Oh, shit. That's also fine. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so embarrassing. Um, but that's fine. Okay, now... Uh, that camera angle swap there really fucked me up. We could take the shotgun, but uh, I don't think we really need the shotgun at this point. Um, no, I mean, I mean, I guess we could take the shotgun, I suppose, just in case we do run into some bother. We'll just put a couple of cartridges in it and then drop drop the spare shells back I suppose yeah that way we're, we're pretty prepared uh, this shouldn't actually be a bad run for Leon in all fairness because we're gonna have um, two extra item slots eventually which is pretty bloody redonkulous when you think about it so let's go downstairs we've got a couple of options of course and I love this hallway music it's one of my favourite pieces of music of all time. It's just... It's all kinds of heroic, sad, and... Everything all rolled into one. And even a little joyful. We don't need to use this right now, but yeah we do. Come on, Leon. Get this shit working. I'm assuming you've been trained up in the use of this. Oh. Oh, I hear that echo. Oh, we could actually go to the library as well, um, which is not a bad shout for one specific reason. Um, we could actually, uh, yeah, because we can get uh, Leon's upgraded gun. Now, although this is not quite a save room, I was always really freaked out by the fact that there's actually zombies in here on the second uh, run rounds. Now, of course, we've already done that. Let's take... Let's take our small key with us. Because we should. Yeah, there's another one around the corner. We can open that one there. Oh, you son of a bitch. You've knocked me down to caution. You bastard. Never mind. Yeah, we could actually open that box behind us. Uh, that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Should we open that one or should we keep pushing? Let's just keep pushing for now. Now I think we're going to get a load of the undead bursting through here in a minute. The head is missing. It appears to be twisted off. But there is still bullets on this guy. That's nice. So Claire hasn't harvested up these yet. Good girl, Claire. It's locked. A spade is etched on... Ah, bugger. We don't have the spade key. Let's go back and get the spade key. Well, I think there ain't really a lot in that room. From what I can remember, uh, it's like a healing item, I think, and maybe some bullets. There's nothing super useful in that room, and we could absolutely skip it out. Now, the desk is locked. You know what? Let's use a small key. Let's get some shotgun shells. We should get another small key anyway. We should get a few more small keys, to be honest. Can't quite remember where they all are, but... Uh, you know, now... Yes, go on, we'll eat, an, we'll eat a herb. Why not? Where's the spade key? We'll have that too. No, we're not going to eat the spade key. We want to eat... <laughs> yeah, just like munch down on a key. Why not? No, that would be silly, Leon. It's bad for your teeth, man. Jesus. Although, I could quite easily see Leon chowing down on a fucking metal key. Why not? Right, so this is the only way we, only place we can use this key uh, in this B scenario. Now, I don't know if there's any... Is Yeah, that's still here. The patrol report, that's cool. Now, anything else? Yes. There's some ink ribbons. Oh, I thought there was ammo there. Eh, uh, maybe not. Now, I don't think the crank is here. No, that's right. It's a health spray. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, health sprays don't actually knock our uh, score down in this game. So, why not? Hey, I mean, if it's free, it's free, right? And the only thing it cost us was a useless key. Now, hopefully there isn't going to be any liquors in this hallway. Okay, there is the herb as well. No, okay, so only in the A scenario do you actually get your introduction of a liquor there. I mean, it makes sense, because technically we've already seen liquors. Um, we've already seen four of them now, I think. Oh, come on, get your ass around there, Leon. Right, let's go get the other jewel. Ah. You know, taking these guys out might not be a terrible shout. Yep, knew that was going to happen. Yep, looks like we're going to get bitten twice. No, we lucky. That was really bad on my part. In fact, that was miserably bad on my part. Ah, Titan, you're getting slow. You're getting slow. But there is bullets here. Which is nice. So I guess in a roundabout kind of way we did make a profit. Now we do get the three burst handgun. Uh, the Matilda as it's later called in, in other games. Now interestingly enough, um, that is actually a real weapon. Operation reports. I don't think we got this one first time around, did we? The Raccoon City Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Well, that would be rather unexpected, wouldn't it? Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our community... Nah, we have read this one. Yep. Yep, yep, that's Operations Report 1. It's just in a different place. Which, hey, that's fine. Um, okay. Nothing here, is there? Looks like... No. Okay. I'm sure there's some, some stuff in this corner as well. I'm sure there's a version of this game that has some stuff in this corner. Yeah. So, the Matilda, actually... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to read that a thousand times. It's actually a real weapon. 
but it's only the military model that can be modified for a three round burst um, and not many of those were produced so it's kind of interesting how Leon has a military grade uh, weapon now the standard uh, civilian model is actually quite easy to get hold of from what I can understand but the stock itself converts it into a three round burst weapon which is really cool it's a really interesting weapon anywho let's get out of here now is this place going to be crawling with the undead I'm going to say probably nope tickle me surprised now we're not going to be able to go through there we need the diamond key of course we do Leon get ooh we haven't gone and seen Brad yet I don't know if I want to use Brad's alt costume uh, I haven't decided mainly because I actually I don't really like Leon's alt costume in this game to be honest so I'm not sure right let's grab up the ink ribbons I actually really like his standard outfit is locked yeah 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 we know now is there bullets here there is not bullets here. Again, in, in a version of this game, I'm sure. Actually, Chris, maybe you all know. You seem to be a bit of an expert on the old RE. Yeah, how interesting. I'm sure there was uh, bullets there. Uh, now, we already know from doing um, a bit of a test between the PlayStation version and the... Fuck me, we've got 17 ink rooms already. Um... Doing a test with uh, the PlayStation versus Dreamcast version, that there is bullets in the PS1 version that are not there on the Dreamcast version, and I'm sure vice versa as well. Which is interesting. There's so many different versions of this game. Uh, there's also a report there. We might as well read it, I guess the operation report too of course we don't really need that and also Chris has clued me in and jogged my memory about some bullets that should be behind the jewel statue up here now I'm pretty sure they are actually here in the DC version because I'm sure we got them in the last uh, playthrough kind of a really slyly hidden uh, pack of ammo if you ask me but I like it Capcom I like it I do like hidden ammo it's always really cool to come back to a game where you found some hidden bullets. Right, any Zeds up here? No. I really did think there was. Um, right, let's go check for those bullets. Are they in the Dreamcast version? They are not. But they're definitely there. Um, on the PlayStation version, I, I know they are for a fact because as soon as you um, reminded me, I was like, Yes, I remember. Yes, there are. But I guess not. That's really strange. So that's so far two packs of bullets that are there on the PlayStation version, but not there on the Dreamcast version. Hmm. Makes you wonder why uh, there are so many subtle little changes like that. I mean, I guess they call this original mode, but does that mean original mode to the Dreamcast? That doesn't make any sense. But I don't know. Anyway, let's continue moving these down so we've got at least both of these. Now, where are the small keys? That's what I want to know. We shall certainly take the jewel. Now, do we want to... Nah, we're fine. Let's go to the star's office and see what we have. I think we should have the magnum um, in the star's office as well. Oh, there are some shamblers in here. I thought there were. Yeah, there's a whole load of them. Come on, boys. Come and get it. Fresh lead. Don't be shy. There's plenty to go around. Don't want anybody to be hungry after this. 
And I have been playing an awful lot of uh, Days Gone on the PS4. And that's actually a really fun game. Definitely enjoying that one. It's not the best game in the world, I'll give you that. And it certainly has quite a few bugs, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but it's a good fun game. And it's definitely worth your money if you have a PlayStation and you haven't played it. Um, but just be aware. It's not perfect. It's definitely worth it picking up if you can find it cheap. The story's quite gripping so far as well. Now, it's not transformative, you know. It's not fucking, uh, I don't know, Shakespeare. But it's good. It's enough of a carrot to uh, keep you stringed along for what you're doing. Alright, anyway, let's search up this. And again, guys, the more I'm using this control pad, the more I'm really loving this thing. It feels so nice. Definitely want to buy uh, another one of these to keep it in the box. Because I don't know how long they're going to make those control pads for. But isn't it wonderful that we're getting all these uh, smaller companies come out of the woodwork that are producing brand new uh, accessories for old consoles? And they're really good as well. In a lot of cases, they're better than the original um, official stuff, which is mind-blowing because we lived in a world that mad cats existed. Mad cats. Oh, God. Mad cats controllers. <sighs> right, anyway, we've got some more bullets. Yeah, so the Matilda is cool. I like it. The only problem with it, and I believe I said this the other time we, we went through this game, is you never really get enough ammo to use it. You just piss through ammo at a scary rate. And there's our Desert Eagle. Will you take the Magnum? Uh, does the Pope shit in the woods? Now, also, there's an FA spray there. There should be. There sh oh, is there not? There should be an F8 spray there. There's a lot less items in this game um, when you play as Chris. Uh, Leon, sorry. That's really strange. Huh. How freaking bizarre is that? We still haven't found any more small keys either, but that's okay. We should meet up with Claire through here, if memory serves. Oh, no, it's Sherry. Of course it is. And then Claire hey, should come down. There's some juicy shotgun shells there. Oh, she's dropped something. What's the stats? Oh, right. Yeah, we need to go back to an item box. How can I have this many item slots and still run out? Leon! Leon. Hey, Claire. Hey, Claire's wearing her old costume. Wonderful. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know, but it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course, but before I forget, here's a radio. I don't know that way we can where he found that up. radio. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Now, of course, uh, I can't remember if I said this before, but um, unfortunately this original voice actor of Leon sadly passed away not that long ago. Um, I believe this is the only game he actually voiced Leon in. Um, but of course, he was the first guy that um, gave Leon his voice. And uh, yeah, uh, he also was semi-active. In the Resident Evil community, from what I can understand, he answered questions, he did little fan get-togethers and things. Uh, all in all, he's a 
bit of a good chap, and for some reason, off the top of my head, I can't think of his name. One second, because I have to do the guy justice. Yeah, it was Paul Haddad, is his name. Uh, I'm kind of really frustrated at myself that I forgot his name, but yeah, he was, he did a lot for the community, uh, answered a lot of questions and things, so... Well, it's, you know, he wasn't even that old either, from what I can understand. He was in his 50s, um, which really ain't old by today's standard. Uh, I guess we could go develop that film. Because why not? And of course that will be Rebecca. Not sure why there's <laughs> Rebecca, a photo of her um, on Wesker's desk. Maybe we shouldn't think too much into that. I don't know. Uh, right, let's drop these down here. We definitely don't want this fucking thing just yet. We don't need that. Wait a minute. Where's our health? There it is. Right. Now, I should probably do uh, inventory management off camera, like blind man, but... Man, that, that sounds... Uh, I'm going to be honest, that sounds like a lot of work, and I don't like work. I'm on holiday, so there we go. Yeah, I guess they should go with that. Cool. Okay, that's a little bit better now, isn't it? Um, right. Let's go and get those shotgun shells. And where the bloody hell are the small keys? I honestly can't remember. I actually can't even remember how many small keys there is. I think there's three or four. I've got the official strategy guide next to me. <laughs> I don't really need to use it. Um, I don't think, anyway. I wish we could just go through there. God damn it, that is where all our shotgun shells and the key. Look, Leon, you could literally push your hand under there and grab the key. But no. Leon is a tard, so we've got to go all the way round the outside, and I just think I remembered where there's a key. Actually. Uh, not sure if I'm remembering where there's a key, or if that's the key that we picked up. I'm having a bit of a headache with pictures. Hmm. Damn this brain. Yeah, also saving the game. Um, I don't think your score gets penalised in this game until you have made more than, or 12 saves or more. That's the threshold in this game. Um, which shouldn't really be much of a problem. Now, as for the SMG, I want to use it, but it knocks our score down. And that's really frustrating. Yeah, the upgraded handgun parts are in there. And yes, we want the upgraded handgun parts. Because they're juicy. Right. So this is going to be the trigger event where the zombies come through. Well, that's a pain in the penis, to be honest. Uh, there's a red herb there, of course, which will have you. Uh, thank you. Uh, anything else in here? I don't think there really is. Any other goodies? Uh, I, I always think that there's something in this pot as well, but of course there isn't. Right, anyway, let's go have a bit of a walk and a drop. Because that's what we need to do. Uh, we can also have a look in here, obviously. I don't think there's anything in here. I know this is where Leon drops. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. No zombies? Uh, no liquors? Really? That I am surprised about. Now, is there anything in here? I mean, obviously that's where we need the crank to drop that down so we can fix this up. Yes, yes, I remember. I'm lying, I don't, but you know. Humor me. 
Humor me, please. Look at these camera angles as well. This place is gorgeous. Now, also, uh, Blind Man <laughs> did leave a comment about how he wasn't really satisfied with uh, the remake of Resident Evil 2. And, and you know, that's fair. Um, I can definitely understand why people wouldn't be happy with them, because they are different games. They're really different. But um, I'm going to... I like them both. I do. Resident Evil 3 was definitely on the weaker side. Uh, for sure it was on the weaker side. But... It, I, ah, bollocks. But I still really enjoyed it. I think I'm just a whore for Resident Evil. Um, although I do have my limits. For instance, uh, Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles. No, it wasn't Umbrella Chronicles. What was it? Uh, what's that shit one that they brought out? I mean, Raccoon City wasn't fantastic. It was okay. And I think if I had someone to go through it co-op with, we probably would have had um, some fun. Um... I did actually LP it, and for what it was, for a non-canon game, uh, it, it was alright, you know. But... What was that one that they brought out recently? The, uh... Ah, yeah. oh, that awful, awful game. Uh, Umbrella Corpse. It, it was Umbrella Corpse, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. I mean, it when they first showed it off, it looked like dog shit. It really did. It looked utterly embarrassing. And when it came out, it instantly died. And that's very telling, if you ask me. Uh, anyway, let's go see Brad. Ooh. Oh, I love the atmosphere out here. So freaking good, man. Hey, Braddy boy. You don't know me, but uh, we would have been friends, probably. That's the most efficient way to put Braddy Boy down. There we go. Rest your zombie bones, Brad. Now, I like what they did with him in the remake as well. Oh, God damn it. The, like, the remake of 3 was so close to being something really superb, but they just, they kind of wigged out towards the end. They, they, they did, um, sadly. Now, let's think about this. Hmm. Where haven't we been properly? We haven't been through the other side of the Marvin Brannan room. We go do that, I suppose. Yep, let's go do that. Back to the Marvin Brannan room. At least I think that's where we can go. We can also go do the Tyrannus bit. Oh, guys, we've got some options here. There's a... Mm, it definitely feels a little bit more open on, on the B scenario. It feels like you've got a lot more options. You don't. Not really. But it has that open feel to it. Uh, we... We don't really need... To be carting that much firepower around, to be honest. We just don't. Um... Let's put the shells back. We've got like 15 shells now. We're gonna go use that up now. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what way around we do this. Because... I mean, we've got to do everything anyway, so it's it's not like we can miss out any vital area, so it doesn't matter too much. I mean, I suppose you could make the argument of efficiency, but we don't give a shit about efficiency around here. We don't need to care about that. we got a shotgun. Right. I do love the way Leon runs with a shotgun as well. It looks like it's too big for him. It's like too heavy or something. It does make me lol. Any arms going to shoot through? I don't know if the arms shoot through, actually, on 
uh, this version, or the B scenario, I should say. I can't remember. Huh. Right. Let's go switch into the alt costume, I suppose. I mean, we may as well. When we play through it on alternative mode, we'll probably keep the standard costumes just for the shits and giggles. Right. Uh, yeah, we use the special key. I really don't like the alt. Uh, oh, there's two. Let's see what the right one is. Please wait a minute. Avert thy eyes, children. Yeah, this is the one I really don't like. I, it just... <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. You don't want to have your arms exposed and all that lot when you've got bitey zombies about. Now this... Yeah, not bad. Not bad. You know, that's somewhat acceptable. I like the jacket. Not feeling the trousers. Anyway, we'll roll with that. Nice to get out of the uniform anyway. Especially considering we're not exactly uh, on duty anymore, are we? No Zeds in here? Huh. Could have sworn there was some Zeds in here. Showed you how much I remember. I mean, I know there is in the A game. But I thought there was in the B game too. Now, I know there's some shells. We'll have those bad boys. This game's just like throwing shotgun shells at us. It's just like, yeah, here you go, here you go. Lock is broken and can't be opened. Okay. You unlocked it. Good, good. My favourite thing about doors, you can unlock them. Ooh, hey friend. Yeah, couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Right, well, oh yeah, I remember. That's one of my favourite things about this outfit. Because if I remember correctly, he fires the gun slightly faster. It kind of offsets the fact that Claire gets a cool gun, or a different gun. Um... Whereas Leon just uses his same gun. He just fires it a whole fuck ton faster. Now, of course, that is a bit of a moot point when you get the gun upgrade. Because you can't actually... Hey, Marvin. I don't actually think that is Marv. To be honest. Yeah, when you upgrade the gun, uh, sadly, I think think you lose the ability to take the uh, upgrade off it. But then, to be 100% honest with you guys, the upgrade for uh, Leon's gun is honestly is kind of rubbish. Someone's been here before. Yeah, Claire. And that looks like a small key. And we like small keys. I'm going to take the memo to Leon. I like the party hat there, and there's some coke. Very nice. I'm hoping there's uh, no vodka there. Because that would be naughty. There's another key there as well. Oh my god. We like we have all the keys to the kingdom here, guys. We just... <sighs> right. Okay, we really need an item room again already. Luckily, we can just go back through this door. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. It's really disappointing. Did we unlock this door? We did now. Um, right, okay. Let's go back to the save room. We're not going to save it, but we do need to drop our stuff off and have a bit of a jiggle about. Yes. So we're rapidly running out of handgun bullets, but we are rapidly getting more shotgun shells than we will ever use. So it swings in roundabouts, I guess. Anyway, that's the bottom floor completely tapped out, I believe. The only thing left, of course, 
is upstairs. Oh, no, not upstairs. It's the other corridor, of course. So let's drop these shells back. 21. So we've got 26 shotgun shells already. Holy fuck. We've got more keys than we know what to do with. Um, uh, I guess we could just go develop the film, because why not? I can't believe there's not bullets in there. I was... I could have sworn there was bullets in there. That's really weird. Uh, right. Now we can go down the other way. We've got the lighter already on us, which is fine. Uh, we have two magazines for the handgun, and that is it, my pedigree chums. We've got the heart precinct key, which I believe only opens one door. Which I guess we could go and do in the next video. And we've still got that one as well. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do like if we go to key config, <laughs> we can actually try these things out. It's cool. I don't think this this wasn't in the PlayStation version, from what I can remember. But yeah, I like that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.